What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be putting some black paint on the tank. Um, can't wait for this, it doesn't have to be a fantastic job, but you know me, it probably will be, because I am, yes, a perfectionist, I know, I keep saying it. It's a lovely day, so why not, let's throw some coat on it, and um, then we can start thinking about the graphics, and then my... The bit I've been waiting for the whole time is deciding and configuring and working out what the hell we're going to put in this cabinet. So um, let's get to it. Okay, so the state of play, the spray didn't go on and cover as well as I thought. I went and brought more, and then I realised it's probably the wrong paint to be using. I know I'm going to be covering most of this, but I still want it to look damn good and sexy. So, screw fix. Got me one of these rollers, and 
some paint. The paint I had before had gone off, which I was originally going to use with my new spray gun. But I think I'm that knackered now, I'm just going to roller it. Okay, so I dusted the roller off as much as possible. <laughs> Can I help you? So the plan is to put a lot on and then really smooth it out. And already that's looking better. It's going to take a while, so I'm going to crack on. Well, you guys watch. stop and have my lunch now um i'm this is no sponsor by any means this is um, a product called shake that weight and uh when i just don't feel like eating i have one of these and don't feel hungry so uh, have it with water you can have it with milk if you want i thought having it with water would be a bit rank but it's actually really nice so excuse me while i have that
Really excited because I think next time I'm going to start planning where I want all the products inside, and um, it's going to start looking like a proper machine rather than just a, a carcass at the minute. But with the black being put on it, I'm really excited. <laughs> um, it's amazing the amount of paint it took. I think it was a, just under one liter of paint. So if you're going to do this yourself, yeah, it takes a lot of paint. And I got that today, threw that on, spraying it, seemed like a good idea, I had some paint left over from another another project, but yeah, don't use spray cans, because it's just not worth it. I rolled this on, and it gives you that, that effect that, that you see in the arcade, so I was more than happy now with that, and uh, regret spraying it, but hey, I know, and I can tell you guys. So, like I say, thanks for watching, sticking with me this far. It's been great, the sun's been great, it's been great. Just doing, you know, just working on something that I've made, you know. I could have gone and brought one, but I think from what the woods cost me, and the screws and the glue and stuff like that, it's so much cheaper. If I brought an arcade one up, I'd gut the thing. So we're talking three and a half hundred pounds here in the UK which I could have only got a Pac-Man or a Street Fighter and Street Fighter seems to be really scarce at the minute so Pac-Man A it would have had the wrong monitor anyway all the buttons, the joysticks I would have thrown out because they're inferior and yeah just I, I'd have ripped most of it out so it just didn't seem worth it and I've cut a big hole there for the, the coin mechanism I'm not using the uh, a marquee so it just seems so stupid buying a three and a half hundred pound machine and getting rid of most of it I could have possibly sold stuff but like I said this is built like a tank this ain't going nowhere this is brilliant this has been a labor of love but I'm really excited now because like the tank has been painted um, I've got the screen in I've gone back to my original bezel that I made and I've decided to ditch the Tulsa monitor bezel remake. All it all it was was um, a bit, bit of MDF, glued and screwed the L brackets, and um, routed out the holes for the monitor, for the Visa or Versa mount, whatever you call it. So I'm not going to be using this because it was a bit floppy, and where it's built like a tank, I thought, you know, I've built that and. I'm rolling with this. I was much more happy with this than I was with this. So, hey, that could be up on eBay, or if you want it, drop me drop me an email. It can be yours for just £200. <laughs> okay, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. If you could, please leave me a little cheeky like. If you haven't done already, hit the subscribe button, and then tap that bell notification so you know that you're gonna get my up-to-date videos.